act like because y'all get in the profession that it ain't gonna happen no more. Yo, we gotta be hush up. Check it out, nigga, bro. Things happen. The we nigga, get past bro, it. But the nigga had it out for me though since I was a background, bro. Since <laughs> don't matter. You you kind of favor the nigga, bro. So look, this yeah. is what happened though. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Like, <laughs> man, you 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 start acting, right? So, like, what inspired you to start acting? Man, low key, um, I had I was going to school at ISU in Bloomington, Illinois, and I met uh, I met some cats, man, in the fraternities and stuff. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. That's when I first started seeing brothers like dress, like dress. Yeah. Right? Uh, they carry themselves a certain way, and if, if I'm from Springfield, so I was like, man, gold tea. Yeah, I had gold tea. Yeah. I had rims on my car on campus. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hood. In it. I'm in the shit. I'm man. from the hood. I'm in it. You feel me? Yeah, that's it. And so uh, I get on campus and I meet this brother uh, named Leroy Hawkins, and he's on the show Chicago PD. He's a main. He's a black cop on that show. He's a main character. He's been on there ten plus season. Incredible. But anyway, I mean, I meet him on campus and we start doing like you know, pageants and plays and stuff and talent shows, you know, earning some extra bread on the side, man. And he got me into acting, you know, watching him do plays and stuff. So I went back to the hood and I started doing like local films and stuff, you know, really getting into it, you know what I mean? And then uh, eventually, man, I started going up to Chicago and, you know, being a background and extra. Wow. Until I got me an agent. I used to sleep in my car, bro. That's good. That's I good. Go, I, went, I was go crazy, man. Yeah. I'd get up at 12 in the morning, 1 in the morning. I used to even have relationships with, like, with the local uh, police. Like, let them know, like, bro, look, I was living in a small town. And they're like, you know, they, they I'm, I'm black, you know, I got to. You got to definitely let them know, hey, man. Hey, before they think, so they start messing with me. I had a little background, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. going to do some shit, right? Yeah. And so I, but I'm just like, look, I'm trying to play. Like, I'm leaving at 1 in the morning, man. I know y'all see me out here. I'm going to drive to Chicago and go sleep in my damn car. I'm going to get, get on the show. Man, that's I'm going to make my $80 real quick. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> but it really ain't about the 80 It's about building. I'm building, bro. Yeah. It, it built character, man. It was cool, man. And them crafty was good, you know what I'm man, saying? Man, so what was the, what, that was the first time you get into a role? Yeah, so the first the first role I got was it was like local in the hood, yep. Uh, I was actually, it was crazy. It was this uh, movie called Seriously Tripping. And uh, this dude, uh, a homie of mine named Osling, cool, cool dude, he shot a film. And I'm bigger, so I'm playing this dude to getting punk. I get punked out, but I'm bigger than the nigga that's punking me. It was weird, man. It, 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 it didn't make sense, Oz. All right, you hear me talk shit right now. You my boy. I'm giving you pub right now on Boss Talk. But <laughs> nigga, why was why was I getting hemmed up? And I'm bigger than the nigga that was hemming me up. <laughs> that didn't make sense. That don't make sense. Hell no, nah, man. Man, so like like you you get you definitely was a part of Empire. Like you play like Terrence Howard as a younger dude, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like like so, how do you even get that part, right? Yo, crazy man. So, <laughs> I was a stand-in for Trey Byers. Okay. For Dre, um, phenomenal dude, man. Like incredible, incredible guy. Smart. I think he graduated from Harvard, bro. But anyways, wow. um, I'm standing from standing for Trey Byers, and um, I get fired one day, right, from being a stand. I didn't know I was fired. How do you not know you're fired? Cause they don't tell you. You just, they just don't call you. They just don't hit you. With, they don't hit you back. So what did you do? So <laughs> it's gonna get messy. <laughs> 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 All right. So check it out. So I was standing. Everybody loved me on set, man. I had a great relationship with. Um, you know, I was a cool dude, funny. You know, all the all the main cast members like me. But um, <laughs> what'd you do, man? Yo, so we were filming at the mansion, and uh, everybody get their schedules. You know for to come to all the stand-ins you know they get to eat with the actors you know standing you right next to the star i'm standing around like where am i at you know because i'll go ask one of the older homies because i'm still new i said hey man you i ain't got no schedule he's like mm, i gotta talk to you man damn so you gotta talk to me man what the, what's going on nigga like everybody what love the me they hell, laughing. man so yeah man uh somebody was complaining about you bro uh yeah, they just said uh, they was one, one feeling your vibe, man, or something. I was like, bro, everybody in the cast like me for the most part. For the most part? Yeah, it's that one person that did So, So, you know what I'm saying? So, I got fired that day. I sat in my car. I had a little twinkle in my eye. I ain't cry. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> yeah, you, you shouldn't have cried because, you know, you already had got you had gotten let go from AT&T. So. I, yeah. <laughs> you used to it. So, <laughs> hey, don't be breathing you know about that. <laughs> So, so, so I'm so, a G. You already done been through the fire. I'm in a G, so I'm sitting in the car like, what the, 
you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, so he told me, he said, yeah, uh, it, he, it'd be like that sometimes with that particular uh, person. Really? Mm. And they said, Who was this person? <laughs> 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 Who in the hell was it? Hey, man, you know the energy, you know, was put out there. Uh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to start nothing, man. <laughs> it's, it's a big. It's a big name. Yeah. Wow. And it's bogus because um, I'm just a young brother trying to, you know, get to. I looked up to them. Yeah. So do you feel like they were intimidated by you? Yeah, that's what you? it was. Because here's the thing: what I was told was this is what he does. He do it all the time. Yeah. To, and and what set is this? Which, which movie again? This is Empire. That's Terrence Howard. He really <laughs> good like that. Cause he, he fly. The nigga really flying. It. His flying is just floating around. This nigga flying is getting bumped over a little bit. Nigga, it's very obvious. You can't get that around. <laughs> Come on, my nigga. Like, like, it's very obvious. You know what I'm saying? So you basically, you, you got to understand that's something that comedians come in here and say as well. Like, they'll go and be a comedian on the stage with certain guys. And if it takes away from their essence, they don't want them guys around because it takes away from their star power. But, bro, but then, uh, I'm sorry, but then to me in acting, I would think it, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would think it would be different because he's older, you're younger, so you can only play that that yeah, younger role. You can't play his role, but he can't it. play your role because he's older. So this ain't the first time have... we heard Terrence Howard cutting up. He did this. Jamie Foxx gave a story like this uh, where he was a little off. He was in character all the time and all. They had their issues. Jamie Foxx, you know, because I just feel like uh, his album is really uh, not that good. This is something that happens in entertainment. Y'all are men. Bravado, all that stuff kicks in, man. Yeah. It don't matter where you at. You can be on a set. You can be in a car. We done got into it just being going to the casino together. Niggas get into it. Y'all act like cause y'all get in the profession that it ain't gonna happen no more. Yo, we gotta be hush up. Check it out, nigga, bro. Nigga, things happen. The we nigga, get past bro, it. But the nigga had it out for me though since I was a background, bro. Since <laughs> don't matter. You you kind of favor the nigga, bro. So look, the, yeah. <laughs> this is what happened though. Check it out. Check it out. The the damn uh the uh the directors and the dudes shooting all of them these always come up to me and say you look like Cassius Clay or you look like this they used to always mess with me and they always want to put me in front of the camera so one time uh I was standing next to this little honey or whatever she cool my home girl she looked good and everything you know and bro walked up and tried to like stunt on me in front of her like this ain't my girl bro it's cool like bro, I don't he know try to bump you yeah he tried to bump me man and this I was, I was just a background eighty dollars a day he, and he, he made eighty thousand a day I make eighty dollars a, a day. day no but that's a part of it though I think really you gonna get that man yeah. because at the end of the day it ain't even about the money bro it's about the fact of the energy and the way you bring in it bro I, yeah. I done been in the room with niggas man and I ignored big niggas man I never forget it I didn't know who French Montana was but it was, I didn't give a damn it was about <laughs> me nigga when I walk in it's niggas said me. nigga who is you I, I, you remember that day? Well, it's been time when a lot of people be around. It's the way you carry yourself. So you got that it factor, nigga, like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, <laughs> it don't matter, man. I, I be trying to be cool, man, be level headed, man. But, you know, I, I do be dealing with a lot of shit, man. And, but I just be trying to stay, you know, stay grounded, man, and be thankful that God even put me in a position to be where I was at, even to be interacting with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's another thing you just said about anointed. You know, are you anointed, bro, about God? You said God. That's anointing. Really, a lot of time, you're, the, the God in you is what really moves things out the way. Yeah. It have you shining in a way to where people can't understand why they might not feel you on certain perspective, but it's because of the God in you. So you won't even understand it. So that light that's shining in you is beaming, and you don't even know that it's beaming like it's beaming. Next thing you know, nigga gonna fire you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.